What's the most paranormal thing that has ever happened to you? First night in my first apartment. Didn't have a bed so I slept on the couch in the living room. Had a nightmare that someone with a knife was going down the hallway. Just as they got to the living room door, I woke up. I jumped in my car, spent one more night at my parents. Two months later, my roommate falls asleep on the same couch. Next morning he tells me about a dream he had about a guy coming down the hall with a knife, just as he got to the door. My roommate woke up. Few months later a friend asks if he can crash for a night. Sure, he can sleep on the couch. Next morning he says he had a weird dream. I said, guy coming down the hall with a knife? My roommate added, you woke up just as he got to the door? Dude went palest shade of white I ever seen. I used to work at a haunted hotel at the front desk. There was a room behind the front desk where you could sit when it was late and no one was in the lobby. There was a TV with the security cameras including one on the front desk so you could see if anyone was out there. You could see the whole front desk, including the classic bell that people ring for service. A co-worker and I were sitting in the back room, no one up front, and the bell rang. No one, no one was out there. Over the next hour the bell rang six or seven times, but only when we were in the back. I don't believe in ghosts, but fuck. This was a nice four diamond old hotel that had huge ballrooms and dining rooms that I had to walk through late at night when I was alone. When I worked overnights after that as the only employee in the hotel, I would get freaked out, but never really saw anything else supernatural. I've had many experiences since I was a kid, the one that freaked me out the most though actually happened a few months ago. I'm only 16, I don't like sleeping in my room so I sleep on the couch in the living room my choice and it's actually really comfy. I also suffer from insomnia and have trouble staying asleep. This being said in normally awake when my dad gets up for work at 4 in the morning and will wish him a good day at work on such. I was trying to sleep but I woke up. Having gone through this many times I just kept my eyes shut. Then I felt something that felt like a leg lean against the side of the couch and hover over me, and then I heard heavy and low breathing. It was so loud and sounded like a man so I naturally assumed it was my dad. Since I thought he was trying to check if Jay was awake I whipped around to try and to scare him but nothing was there. I was so confused that I kinda just sat there for a few moments thinking about what just happened. I'm convinced the house I lived in during my freshman year of college was haunted. I also swear that all of this is 100% true. I don't talk about it because it sounds ridiculous but it happened and I can't explain it. The house was 120 years old. My room had a door to the attic that I kept locked. I had four other roommates who all swear they weren't fucking with me. I was laying in bed one day and I heard a super loud crash behind the door of the attic. I grabbed my big male roommate and we opened the door together. At the bottom of the steps, there were six awkwardly shallow steps leading up to a bunch of that pink foam stuff and your typical attic. There was an old painting of some lady. We were creeped the fuck out. Nobody had ever seen the painting before, let alone gone into the creepy attic. We put the painting in the corner of the attic where it could not fall and didn't think about it again. A few months later I heard the same crash. I figured I dreamed or imagined it. Again, I opened the door and found the painting sitting there. This time I moved the painting into the basement. There were some shelves and I just threw it in the back of the top shelf. A couple more months went by. Yet again, late one night, I heard the crash from behind the attic door. I thought to myself no fucking way. Grabbed my roommate again and opened the door. There IT fucking was. That goddamn painting was sitting at the bottom of the steps again. I don't understand how. I kept the door to my room locked as well as the door to the attic. My roommates couldn't have gotten in there to play a prank. I truly don't understand it. After the third time we took the painting out to the fire pit and burned it. Thankfully, all the creepy shit stopped there. I moved the fuck out of that house as soon as the lease was up. I can't explain what happened I just know it was creepy as hell and you could not convince me to go back there. When I was 6 or 7, I was going to the bathroom, not bothering to close the door because no one else was home. 
My parents' room was directly across a narrow hallway from the bathroom, with their door being pretty close to being entirely open, with only clothes keeping it pushed slightly outward. From where I was, I could see the foot of my parents' bed, the wall on the left side of their bed, and the wall which the door was against, being nearly fully open, if that makes sense. Sitting silently, I see a black dress, with no figure inside rise up from behind the left side of my parents' bed, proceed to float out to the front of the foot of the bed, appearing to float directly towards me, and float behind my parents' bedroom door. Completely silent, no body, no legs, feet, nothing. Just a black dress. It floated not slowly, but not too quickly. Like it didn't even know I was there and was just casually floating through the house. I was freaked as fuck. I finished my business, and quickly jumped across the hall and slammed the door the other way screaming out of fear and an attempt at being threatening. But nothing was there besides my mum's robes and pyjamas. Since then, I was sure to close the door every time I went to the bathroom. And only recently have I begun going with the door open if no one else is home. And nearly every time I do, the thought of that goes through my head. I work nights at a hotel. I was setting up coffee one morning a few years back, and I see someone very tall in the kitchen. We make eye contact. Dude's wearing an olive green jacket and a pair of jeans. After a second, he lifts his legs at the knees and floats out the door. Now, if I were just seeing things, I'd have panicked. I've hallucinated from exhaustion, and the shit I see scares me. This was there. This was real. It must be a guest or something in an employee area. This has happened a couple times. I take off running to catch this guy and tell him he is not permitted back there. No one is there, because of course not. The back is empty. I am alone. I was still convinced for several minutes that this guy was just hiding from me and he'd have to come out and I'd be able to talk to him. Almost a full five minutes elapsed before I realized I was literally chasing a ghost. The most paranormal thing to happen to me is probably the least paranormal thing to happen in this thread. LOL. But the fact that it's such a small incident is what gets under my skin. I was babysitting my ex's niece when I was still with him, at their family home. His sister went out with friends that night and my ex was working, so I was alone with baby and my ex's youngest sister who was only two or so years younger than me. They lived out of the city on a dirt road so they had a bunch of land. Their kitchen had large, beautiful windows that almost went from floor to ceiling and you could see over the land where the horses were and some planes and stuff. During the day it was very serene looking out the window because there was no neighbors. Nothing you could see more miles except serene tranquility. This setting changed at night. I was completely terrified of what all of this vast nothingness looked like during dark. I couldn't see anything out there, but something could look in and see me. I distinctly remember getting a chill up my spine once the sun had set and shutting the curtains end to end that night I was babysitting. Once it got later in the evening and I was failing miserably at playing Morrowind on a terrible $300 ThinkPad laptop, I was not smart, I went into the kitchen to get a drink because it was time to take my meds. As soon as I stepped into the kitchen, I saw that the curtains were wide open. Not just a little bit, but end to end open. I've got ADHD, but I would not have left those fucking curtains open because their property genuinely scared the shit out of me at night. The baby was asleep, and my ex's sister didn't leave my sight all night either so no one would have opened those curtains. IT haunts me dude, fuck. I think about it and get all woozy. I try to be rational but I still just can't explain it. When my son was about 3.5 years old we were driving home at night with him and his 7 year old brother in the back seat. As we approached an area of the road across from my older son's former babysitter's house my younger son clearly blurted out the name Ashley. Ashley was the name of the babysitter and she had died the year before in a car accident. My younger son had never met her and neither son knew that she lived nearby because she always drove to our home to babysit. When I asked my younger son what he said he repeated the name Ashley, and when I asked him why he said that he said Raven told him to. Raven was his favorite stuffed animal. My wife and I were stunned and cannot explain what happened. Long story short. 
multiple people who are not friends with one another have been in my house and seen a woman in a blue dress and then told me about it later. I don't tell anyone else about it, not even my husband, because it doesn't bother anything. No big deal right? Anywho, I myself have seen her twice. The first time I woke up in the middle of the night and saw her leaning over the baby's crib. I immediately sat up and she just faded away. I felt crazy because I didn't know anyone else had seen her at the time. The next day I went to Walmart and some lady walks by me and says, she likes the baby. I stop and ask what she said and she says, the woman, in your house, she likes the baby. Loki peed my pants and ran home. I lived in this haunted house in North Hollywood. Lots of different shit happened there but the worst of it all was one morning my entire family woke up and the entire bottom floor was covered in maggots. I'm talking like 900 plus square feet covered in maggots you could see very clearly from the second story banister. We had no flies in the house prior to this and we kept it extremely clean. I remember sitting on the balcony, hallway with my little brother just scared because no one knew how they got there. Everyone in my family still remembers this too.